Hey everybody, got an awesome video for you here today. Today I want to talk to you all a little bit about flammable vapor sensors, okay? Now what the heck is a flammable vapor sensor? It is a small device located on most water heaters. Not all of them have it, but on most water heaters you will have a flammable vapor sensor that will stop the unit from working if it comes in contact with flammable vapors. Uh, your gas water heater will have a gas valve. You'll have a gas line, so you need something to kind of sniff out just in case something goes wrong, and that's where that comes in handy. But other things can trip it, right? Kitty litter can do it, scented candles, chemicals like bleach, oil-based uh, paints and stains, they can all trip your flammable vapor sensor. So I got a bunch over here, a bunch of used ones, uh, and we're going to be testing them just to show you what kind of specs you're looking for. Now I got a multimeter, okay, and I'm going to be uh, setting it to the ohms setting. You can use an ohms meter, I'm going to be using a multimeter, and these are the specs that I got here. You can see the different manufacturers, right, GSW, 3 to 100, Giant, 7 to 25. 5, Ream 9 to 45 and Bradford White 3 to 48. These are in kilo ohms, okay? So now you see I got a bunch over here. Uh, these are all used ones. I, you know, out in the field, I've had to replace uh, a bunch of them. Uh, some people, you know, they're painting or, or you know, they're cleaning something in uh, in the furnace room or water heater room, and they'll just be cleaning up. This one here, you can see it's got paint still on it, right? I thought that would be great for this video here. Still the paint on it. I also got a brand new uh, package here. This is from Ream. These are the Ream um, flammable vapor sensors. I'm going to rip open a brand new uh, pack for you. I want to show you exactly what you get in the pack okay now this here this little it's a it's a pack within a pack that's your flammable vapor sensor it's actually you know double packed so to prevent it from picking up any scents from any flammable vapors right uh, other than that you're also going to get a, a zip tie and also the casing for it because on the on the ream water heaters it comes with that weird plastic casing that actually saddles in your water heater and obviously you're going to have the instructions right i would suggest read the instructions okay Another one I have here, you can see this is a all-purpose one. This is just a general universal flammable vapor sensor. It goes on most water heaters. It's not perfect, right? You can see some of them, like Ream, for example, was the 9 to 45. Some of these can come at 3 kilo ohms or 4 kilo ohms or 7 kilo ohms right out the pack, which may not work on some, right? So again, we're checking it in kilo ohms, which is thousands uh, measurements of resistance, okay? So here's the old one. You remember the, uh, the one with paint on it, right? So I'm going to be checking the old ones. 143,000 ohms. And again, we're checking. These are all reams here, and you can see Ream. 9,000 to 45,000. We're definitely out of the range here. This is no good. It's a throwaway. There's nothing you can do to revive it. Uh, once it goes over that rating, you're done. 124,000 ohms. You can see that there. Let's check this next one. 145. You can see all these are done. The ones that I've had to replace. And you can see they're very high in resistance. It would not work. 185,000 ohms. Again, this is Ream, right? We're talking 9,000 to 45,000. Anything over 45,000, it's not going to work. 343,000. Heck no, that thing ain't going to work. That was probably a gas leak right there. And the, and the resistance level just keeps rising as it's smelling these flammable vapors, right? So here I'm going to continue to test these. Let's see what we're getting here. And on this one we got... 155,000 ohms. Um, again, you know, that's a done dunner. Over here, 150,000 ohms, right? Anything, again, anything over uh, 49,000. Now, here's a different one. You can see how this one doesn't have the casing. 178,000. That was from a GSW. All right, so with that being said, if it's too low, you probably got the wrong one. If it's within the threshold, you're probably looking at another problem. And if it's too high, replace it. Other than that, I'm all out of fun. Got to run. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care. Have a good one now.